Hey everyone, welcome to Learn Algebra Faster. In this video we're going to discuss how to find the range of a set of numbers. And what the range is, it is the distance from the highest number to the lowest number. So you could say that it is the distance of the set. So the good news is we don't have to do a lot of calculations, but we do have to identify the lowest number and the highest number and then do a small calculation. So the way I like to do this, you could go ahead and put everything in order, but what I typically do is I read the set from left to right and I make little notes to find out what numbers are the lowest and the highest. So we'll start off with 10. I can see already that the second number is 16 so I can go ahead and say 10 right now is my lowest number I'll continue to go down the down the way 16 is greater 19 is greater than 10 21 is greater than 10 so far everything is greater than 10 10 is the least and I will check them all and it actually turns out that 10 is the lowest number okay so we know 10 will be our lowest number now let's find the highest number. We know that 16 is higher than 10, so we make a little dot. We know 19 is even bigger, so that's our new highest number. 21 is even higher than 19, so 21 is our new highest number. 13 is less than 21, so we're still not moving up. Okay, 25 is even bigger. 29 is even bigger. And it looks like as we go left to right, it looks like 29 is the biggest. So we have our highest and our lowest. So how we actually do this is we take the highest number, which is 29, and we subtract the lowest number, which is 10, and gives us a range of 19. So that's how you can look at a set of numbers quickly identify the lowest number and the highest number and find the range. Now let's move on to one more example. Okay. So for this set of numbers, remember we're going to find the highest minus the lowest and that's going to give us our range. Okay. We look, 57 is higher than 43, so uh, first we find, it doesn't matter if you find the highest one first or the lowest one first. Let's start off, and 57 is our highest, 65 is even higher. Okay, we have 65 again, and it looks like 65 is going to be our highest number. So we mark it on the top because it's the highest, and now let's find our lowest number, 43. Okay, 39 is even lower than 43. And it looks like 39 is our lowest number. So we'll say that it is the lowest. So to do our range, we do 65 minus 39. And 65 minus 39 is 26. There you go. There's a quick way for identifying the lowest number the highest number and doing the subtraction to find the range. If you want to learn this and much more, feel free to check us out at learnalgebrafaster.com. Thanks.